Hey, what's up guys? This is Alex from AppRay.io and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create your own personal meditation and sleep application using AppRay.io template. All of our templates are ready to go and do not require any additional effort. So let's launch it right away and see what this application is all about. Once the application is loaded, the first screen you'll see is the home screen. Currently, it has four blocks, each of which leads to its own playlist. Let's review them one by one. The first one is meditation. For demonstration, we've added five tracks that you can obviously delete later. Clicking on the needed track would start a load, and once it is loaded, the media player will open and the track will start playing right away. The player itself includes the name of the track, description, and basic controls that all players have – pause, play, next, and others. Description section here is expandable and can serve as instructions to the track itself. For example, what exercises to do or how to breathe properly. You can also apply additional settings for a track. Once it is finished, it can play next, play just once or repeat the current track. There is also a heart icon that will allow you to add this track to the list of your favorites. We will review this a bit later. The second one is sleep. It works the exact same way as meditation. It's just a separate category. So as an owner of this application, I would want to add track and steps for sleep specifically to this page. The other thing you might have noticed is a timer. You can select for how long the music should play until it stops. This option is available for both meditation and sleep pages. And you can either select 5, 15, 45 or 60 minutes or select custom where you can choose other options. You can also turn this option off. Now let's review the favorites page. As you might have noticed while reviewing meditation and sleep pages, I've liked a few of the tracks. Now they are displayed in this list. You can play them the same way as on other pages and once you don't want them in this list anymore, just unclick the like icon and it will be instantly excluded from the list. And the last but not least is a page that we call feelings. This serves as a kind of search panel. When the user is not sure which track list to choose, he can use this board and depending on how he feels currently, select an emotion. And here we can see a predefined list specifically for this emotion. And that's it for the meditation and sleep application. But now let's go back to the visual editor and review how you can customize the application. On the left side you can see the project tab that includes multiple folders. Opening the Pages folder will allow you to customize each page individually. The first thing you might want to do is change text. Not only you can change the name of the application, but you can change any text in the template. In order to do so, click on the text that you want to change and navigate to the right panel. Here you can find Text section, in which you can set any needed text. The second thing you might want to change is the logo. Each template has a default logo, but you can use any other image that you would like. In order to change the logo, click on it and click Change button on the panel on the right. Here you can either select one of the available images or upload the file from your PC. The next thing you might want to change are the colors of the application. You can change the color of each element individually, but there is also a better way to change template's colors. Each template has its own unique design. What it also has is called themes. Over here you can see a theme dropdown. Selecting one of the options from the dropdown will allow you to see how this specific page will look like under a different theme. In order to apply the theme to the entire application, expand the project folder, select App Settings and select Needed Theme from the dropdown. Now we can click Test and see how the application looks like with newly selected theme. Now the question is how do you add your audio records? For this you will need to open the database page, select your database from the list, click on collections tab and find the tracks collection. Here you can already see a few pre-uploaded tracks that you can obviously delete. But in order to upload your own track, click plus row and in the newly created row add the information about the track, including its name, description and the file itself. You can select an existing file or upload it from your PC. To assign the track to a specific category, use the related column. It can be meditation, sleep or one of the emotions on the feelings page. Also, you might want to add an additional page. For that, you can clone one of the blocks 
and change its name from My List to About Us and change its icon. We have already created an About Us page, so we can select the cloned card, expand the event section and add the click event with an action to navigate to the page. Here we can select our About page and click Save. Let's click Test and see how our About Us page looks like in the app. And then there is one last thing that we've created in advance for the sake of usability. You might have noticed that you have a loader with percentage while you wait for the track to load. Well, you can change the way it looks. You can have percentage, loading spinner, or both at the same time. The last thing you might want to do is to export your application and try it on your own device. You can do that through an export feature where you can select either Android or an iPhone format. Let's select .ipa. As you can see, the application started building the IPA. Please note that for successful app export, you need to first import the certificates here in the app settings, iOS binary, distribution certificate and provisioning profile sections. Once your project is generated, you will see the QR code that you can use to easily upload your application to your device. To learn more about how to export your application, including iOS and Android certificates, please follow the link in the description. And in the end, let's review how this application will look like on a real device. These are just a few ways how you can customize and work with the template. To learn more about the AppRay.io platform and its features, visit our website or find more videos on our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching and happy developing!